It's a very important judgment today, a very important judgment for freedom, a very important judgment where the master of the roles is holding to account a very important politician, Boris Johnson, because he fears that Boris Johnson has interfered with freedom, has interfered with justice, has shut down one side of the debate in order to court favour with the LGBT community. So really what we're looking at here um, is a situation where Transport for London, Boris Johnson can't keep on doing their deeds behind closed doors and in the dark. They have to be held to account. And that's what Chorus Jews Trust has sought to do, what the Christian Legal Centre has sought to do, to hold these organisations to account. Either we air all opinions on the side of buses and we're free to do so, that every aspect of the argument can be heard, or they permit no one, including Stonewall. Uh, to um, have the advertisements on the buses. But what they can't do is favour one side of the opinion and not the other. Mike Davidson, do you feel justified in having brought this action after all the trouble you've gone through, High Court and the Appeal Court? I think people have got to realise that they can't bully ex-gay people. We are a, a group of people who have as much right as anybody else to exist and to... Uh, have the dignity that any identity really should be accorded to people. And so uh, we think this is a very important judgment today. It seems to me that it is true that ex-gay people or people who identify as having left homosexuality are indeed protected under the Equalities Act. That is outstanding news. That means that really people who are moving in that direction should be able to access support, for example. There should be professional psycho psychotherapists and counsellors who are willing to support them because they are a recognised group of people within our society. Would you accept that the advertisement you wanted to put on the buses, which initially was agreed but then turned down, and you believe on the instruction of Boris Johnson, was in fact provocative and anti-gay? No, we're not anti-gay. Uh, I am not anti what I have experienced in my life, but I am a person who has chosen to move away from that. I didn't choose the feelings, but I realized I had choices around that situation. And I think that that is something that we need to impress upon people. They're not victims. If they choose to go and identify as gay, then the law of the land allows them to do that. But by the same token, if they choose to move away from homosexuality, that is a perfectly reasonable thing to do. And they need to be supported, I believe.